All right, uh, just kind of gloomy day, so I figured I'd play around with the seven string. Uh, see if I can remember some of my old syndicate songs back from the uh, 90s. And uh, this song, I don't remember the name of the song at all. It was either Nosferatu or I, I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> uh, but uh, listen to it. There's one line in it that I, I remember I had written it on the spot. Uh, for we were, uh, me and the drummer Scott, this is before we got into Syndicate, there was another, uh, uh, we were auditioning singers, and this guy showed up, a big, huge uh, Freddie Mercury fan, right? He had big hair and everything. Uh, he looked like Richard Marks, but he sounded like Freddie Mercury, right? And he, the guy had a bit of an attitude. Uh, I'm not, he thought he was a little bit more, he was good. He was really good. Uh, but anyway, um, he's like, yeah, you... Uh, he goes, uh, see if he can come up with something. And he came up with this. And this would later become a part of uh, one of the syndicate songs. This right here. I want to default to the low B because, you know, fingers. Let's see how it would sound in the sample. song would have benefited from the seven string for sure whatever it was called i'll have to check with uh, some former band members what was it called what are the lyrics tell tell me tell me now how do, how do we play it i want to play it i want to record it again on the seven string i'll do it one more time from the original uh to uh, and and the vocal melodies over that line was uh to me was just magnificent <laughs> She could have like went lower or higher, so she could have uh, sang that part there, going from lower to higher. Nightwish started out too, so that's where we could have, uh, like, the, the, the version of the song you hear is the unpolished was written a few weeks before we played it live, and we, we, we played these songs live before they were completely finished, and again, the seven string door to be seen at that kind of time, right, 1995, they were out there, but it's just very, very uncommon, so I'll run it one more time, 
bottom to top and then top to bottom. And just to see how that song would change dynamically. I'd love to have her here singing the whole band here. That'd be cool. And I always loved that riff. That was one of my favorite riffs. Now, the other one, um, uh, I think it was called What Am I Doing? I think that's the, the next song. 